hey you guys what is up and welcome back to my channel for today's video i'm coming at you from a new spot i'm actually in my closet because for today's video i really i've been wanting to do this for a while and i actually started filming this like i don't even know like two months ago and then had to buy another dresser but anyways for today's video i'm gonna be doing an active wear organization which i am super excited about but before we get into this video please make sure that you give the video a thumbs up and if you are new and you are not subscribed to my channel please make sure that you subscribe to my channel as well usually my content consists of mostly workout videos when i'm trying to incorporate other things because yes i work out a lot but there are other things to me as well so it is mostly workout videos there will also be just like general health and wellness videos i'm that, that i am starting to put out and then um also just lifestyle so like what i eat in a day um day in the life videos like that but yeah before we get started make sure that you subscribe to my channel but let's go ahead and get right on into today's video okay so currently i have my active wear which is mostly gymshark stored in like three different places so i have a small dresser that is for really just leggings i don't even really have any shorts in there so mostly for leggings and then i have um like a little six six compartment shelf which i'll show you guys in a second that has bras sweats hoodies and then on top of it because i didn't have anywhere to put the shirts i have the shirts on top and then i also have in my second bedroom or like our office a like clothing rack that i use for when i film clothing videos and on that it has jackets because i really don't have anywhere else to put them so i have um some sweaters from gymshark that i got a really long time ago that are on there two like puffer vests and then i also have two like bomber jackets and none of those fit so i really just want to condense everything hopefully um to wear everything will mostly fit in this one dresser and then if i need to keep the shelf that i have i will also um have that as well so let me just show you guys what the setup looks like before we get started so dang the lighting's so bad okay um so here's where i have the shirts this isn't all the shirts i'm actually doing my active wear laundry right now but this is pretty much what the shirt situation looks like <laughs> and then here is the shelf like i said this has my bras on the left side so bras from light medium and high support and then this is just sweats and hoodies then here is the dresser um the dresser like i said is literally just leggings but this target dresser i'm so disappointed it's just so small it really doesn't fit shit um so yes that's the current situation and then i actually just got this one from ikea so how to set y'all back down so that's what the setup is this white one i'm actually First of all, y'all, let me tell you, let me put y'all on in case y'all didn't know like I didn't know. So how Ikea does delivery and they'll build your stuff for you. Uh, I actually live across the street from Ikea. So I got this dresser, which is the mom. It's the mom, so M-A-L-M. -M, and it's the four drawer dresser. Got this from Ikea um, last week. And I just really can't with putting furniture together. Uh, the Target dresser took me, it's not even that big. And it took me like four days, maybe like a week actually, to put that together. So long story short, I ended up just paying someone to come and do it. And Ikea uses TaskRabbit. So I just paid someone, it was really inexpensive. It was actually only $37 with the tip. So I paid someone $37, he came to our house, um, very COVID safe. He wore a mask, everything, and just built the dresser and it only took him he got here around like 10.05 and was done by 11.15, 11.20. So like an hour, 15 minutes, hour, 20 minutes. So it was really quick. So saved me some time and now I can just organize with you guys. So yeah, let's just go ahead and start moving stuff. The leggings are already folded up in this dresser. I'm just gonna go ahead and like move over in here, figure out where I want the bras and everything like that. And then I will also show you guys 
how I fold my activewear um, and talk about how I wash it at the end of the video. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, I had to make this a two day video because the sun started going down now that freaking daylight savings happened. So it just like went down at four o'clock and it was so dark. So I made this a two day um, kind of process. But last night, as you saw in the last clip, I was struggling to move everything. It didn't even occur to me that I needed to move the dresser before I started filling it up. But I moved it, I ended up moving it. I just grabbed our little like, um, 
floor protector things the little circle things and put them under my dresser that we had we had them in our living room so i just grabbed those to move it but anyways so now all i have left is what's behind me which is just all of my bras um i took all of those out of the little six pocket storage thing that you guys saw earlier um so i just have the bras and then this is stuff that i haven't put away yet um don't know where i'm gonna put it because where i'm keeping my shirts is full so i need to figure out what to do with this stuff but i have this um and then i also finished all my laundry that i was working on yesterday so ugh, i have all of this to put away so i'm gonna show you guys how i fold the bras and then the legging i know you saw some clips but yeah i'm gonna talk about how i did that how i washed my laundry um because i know everyone's different with their active wear so i just want to talk about what works for me so yeah let's put on a youtube video and get to putting the rest of this stuff away and then at the end i will show you guys what everything looks like Okay, now that all the bras are in the drawer, I still have to fold all of these leggings and put them in their home. So I figured I would just show you guys one legging. Um, and um, every legging is different <laughs> in my opinion. Um, so yeah, every legging is different in my opinion. But I figured I would just show you guys at least one of them. So I'm gonna use these ones. Actually, I need to flip them back out. All right, so just flip the leggings back inside out, shake them out. They're wrinkly because I don't put leggings in the dryer. And then I fold them in half like so. So I try and make sure that the seams of the leggings are lined together. <clears throat> kind of like you did when you would iron your jeans before school back in the day. That's kind of what you need to do with your leggings. So then I'll just lay them down like so. Then I start with the bottom and I like to fold it in a couple times till it's like, mm, like right at the seam that's by your butt and then I'll fold the top half of the leggings in so let me bring y'all a little bit closer all right so you just fold in the bottom of the leggings and then I'll, I'm close to the seam but I'm probably gonna go one more time then Fold the top part of the band in. If it's really thick, it works really well like this. Uh, so fold that in and then you just fold them together. So boom. So that's how I fold the leggings and I'm just gonna pop these into the drawer. Can't show you guys the drawer yet because I want you to a little peek I don't want you to see a little peek but there we go okay you guys I feel like this literally turned into like a full-on vlog 
but as I was editing this I just realized that I never told you guys about how I wash my active wear so I do a couple different things so I wanted to just show you so with my active wear that's white or like kind of creamy type of colors um, I usually wash them all together um, with like my regular white laundry so that um, I'm not just wasting water washing those things on their own so when I do that for the most part I really don't use bleach especially if there's something cream in there and also because I just don't want to ruin the material of the active wear so since I wash that with regular clothes um, I use a really natural laundry detergent which is this boulder clean brand um, and yeah I just use this it's safe it's plant-based laundry detergent and um, I also get this just in case anyone is wondering they sell it everywhere I think I think but I get this from Costco because this big thing is like $13 like 13 or $16 but so anyway so this is what I usually use for things that are white cream color that type of stuff and I just wash it with my regular like white clothes um, and I don't put any of the active wear in the dryer so the white ones and that includes the things that have color so once it's done washing I'll just throw the regular clothes from the white clothes into the dryer and then everything else um, that's white I'll just hang it up and then so that's what I use for the white stuff and then if anything has stains this might be TMI y'all but I don't care um my boobs are big as shit I am a 38 triple D or like a 40 triple D one of those um and I sweat like my boobs sweat like crazy so I spray this on it it is um called defunkify and I have two things from them actually so here's the spray and then this is the actual laundry detergent so for the spray um it's it's like a laundry and just like a, it's a stain remover basically um so I spray it like on this part like the bottom part of the bra because that's usually where like the sweat builds up so I spray it on there to remove all the sweat stains and get rid of the smell and this brand was actually made for activewear so this is the spray of it and I use that not just on activewear but I use it for regular clothes as well and then I have this one which is the powdered laundry detergent so you can use this on its own if I'm being honest since it's unscented sometimes I do mix it with the boulder clean um, because that one actually has the scent I don't want my laundry to laundry to just have like no smell I don't know I just like for it to smell good so sometimes I mix it with that but you can use it on your own on its own because it is just like a laundry detergent powder it's unscented and then like I said this brand is made for activewear um and a little goes a long ways like I want to say we this is our second time buying this this year like it's pretty much lasted us the whole year and it comes with a little scoop so you can just take the little scoop out fill it up and you really only need one um depending on your load you could probably get away with using half one and then yeah on the side of it I'm not gonna read this to you guys obviously but it just shows that it was made for activewear talks about that um and I just really like this it gets everything out if you know again TMI if it's that time of the month and you didn't know and you went to the gym it will get that out you can use the spray um and it also I feel like takes the place of bleach because it keeps everything really bright and clean so yeah I just wanted to pop in show you guys what I use when I wash my active wear and then the same thing that I do with the whites I also do with the colors um once they come out of the washer I hang everything up um around my house because I don't have a drying rack I should probably get one um but yeah I just hang it up around my house so that I can dry and then I just fold and put everything away and so far this has worked for me I've been doing this for a while now like a year and a half at least with these products um and I just feel like this is what works best so yeah 
I appreciate you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you made it all the way to the end and you have not subscribed, please make sure that you subscribe to my channel. It supports me and my content. So yeah, I appreciate you guys. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video.